On to Bishvat, the 15th Bishvat, we have the practice of eating dried fruit. And that's because, as the Gemara says, the 15th Bishvat is the judgment day for the trees, the Rosh Hashanah Li'ilanos. And Rashi notes that this time period is when the sap begins to go into the tree. And that is the first point of the beginnings of growth that will eventually lead to the fruit. Rav Shlomo Eger provides an insight as to what we can learn from that. If one looks outside at the trees during the dead of winter, they look completely dead, completely barren. There is no way that these fruit trees will ever again bear another season of fruit. But the truth is that there's growth beginning underneath the surface, not apparent to the naked eye, that will eventually lead to flowers, eventually lead to fruit. And this so too with us. During this dead of winter, where every, everything going on in the world right now does not feel like we can grow, we can thrive. There's no fruit on our trees. The truth is that there can be growth underneath the surface. Even when things are difficult, even when things are hard, when we stay the course and we have the right character traits and right midos, we're there for our families, we're there for those who need us, there is tremendous growth that is happening, even when it's difficult, even when it's hard, there is still that growth happening underneath the surface even when we can't see it. And Mir Hashem, God willing, the sap that begins to go through the trees will lead us to the bloomings of our flowers and Mir Hashem to the fruits of our labors. Have a wonderful Tu and Kol Tuf.